Hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a get ready with me showing you how I do my hair and makeup and also a bit of a life update health wise and a bit of a menopause update as well so yeah I've not done another menopause diaries for a while so this is the next one in the series so now you're going to see me bare faced so I'm going to clip my hair up so first of all I'll just brush it through if I turn around, I'll try and show you how to do it from the back, if I can, without a mirror. So you just spin it round, depending on how long your hair is, depends on how many times you have to twist it. And that feels nice and secure, and then just pop the clip in about at the top of your head, and then we'll sort out the little sprout on top. And then what I do with that is just sort of style it a bit so it doesn't look too wild, which is just looking a bit at the minute. Okay, and then my fringe I trimmed yesterday. Sorry if I'm looking up, it's because the mirror's behind you. Do you know what I've started doing? Putting a tea towel over my legs. Because the amount of time you drop makeup, or it slips out of your hand, or if you're using shadows or powders and it drops all over you, it has saved my knees and carpet quite a few times. So this is my new thing to do. Right. Okay, so I thought this video we'd do a bit of a sort of a life update, come menopause diaries. I know I've not filmed one of those for a while. Um, yeah, talk through a little bit as well as getting ready, get ready with me as well. So, how have I been on the old? No, let's start with a bit of a health update. So, a while back when um, I wondered if I was on the menopause. Um, I went to the doctors and had a blood test and I said could you sort of can because I'd heard different things the last time I went to the doctors they were saying that they were no longer doing the blood tests to find out if you were menopausal and then the next time I went they said yes we are doing them so goodness knows what what they were playing at I don't know whether that was well I don't know anyway so I said could I have it um and while you're at it can I just have sort of a an overall health check so had the blood test that was six, six months ago yeah so i am menopausal and i've started on some sort of pessary uh estrogen thing well at the same time when they checked all the rest of my bloods um they told me or i got a message just a text message saying that i was on the cusp of becoming pre-diabetic I'll just talk about skincare, then I'll carry on with that. So, wash my face. I've used a little light scrub on my face today. And then I've gone in with a little bit of this product on my eyebrows and eyelashes. So, this is, I've got this in Italy. It's the Wicon Booster Serum for, with um, peptide and witch hazel, Vigor Lashes, it's called, for eyelash and eyebrow growth. So, a bit of that on the eyebrows. And lashes, sorry, all my stuff's down here, that's why I keep popping down. Then I toned my face with, um, this has actually got Clinique toner in it. And then I went for a bit of the Vitaly Char Vitality um, eye cream. I've done a video on their skincare recently, love this. So that's eye cream and the same, the Vitaly, Vita I can't say it very well, Vi Vitality, Vi Vitality, Vitality, uh, anti-aging face serum so that's all over this is a new one i found in home bargains whoops and i love it it's so it's the garnier skin active um anti-wrinkle day cream yeah been absolutely loving using this i've put some on already so i just pop a little bit more on just to show you really like that it's only i think 2.99 so i'll definitely be getting some more of that like how it goes under my makeup i think my skin's looking pretty nice at the minute which i'm very pleased about so yeah, as you can imagine, that was a massive, massive shock to me because, you know, I eat quite a decent diet. I exercise six times a week, just look after myself. So I got quite upset about it. I didn't cry, but it, it really aff affected me. So I spoke to Alan about it and he said, it could just be to do with as well, um, the fact that you, you stop it, stopped eating your meals on a regular basis. So during COVID, I had breakfast and then my lunch sometimes I wouldn't eat till two o'clock in the afternoon. 
And my evening meals have gone from being like six, half six to sometimes eight or nine o'clock at night, which is not good. And he said, you're not getting a regular balance. So the food and the glucose and everything else isn't going through your body at a regular regular time, which it's very used to. And you'll know on from a lot of my hauls, I started buying so many sweets and eating sweets. Just going to put a bit of hairspray on my um, fringe. I forgot about that. This is a new one. L'Oreal The Big Hairspray. Um, yeah, so he said that, and oh, that's quite a dry spray. That is, I like that. And because yeah, I'd started eating a lot of sweets, so I thought, right, let's have an overhaul on the old diet a bit. Um, so I cut out the sweets. I have a couple now and again, but I've not bought any any jelly sweets anymore. Yeah, so I started, I'd started eating a lot of, of sweet cereal as well, you know, things like Cocoa Pops and Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes and stuff like that. So I knocked all that on the head. Um, this is a little tip that I've learned. I don't know if it actually works, but apparently if you put a bit of concealer down the middle of your nose, that's not quite the middle. It's supposed to make your nose look a bit thinner. I hate my nose. So that was the uh, Yves Saint Laurent famous tout chocolate, tout, ch tout chocolate, tout chocolate. And then I'm going to go in with the Pericone, N Pericone MD No Makeup Foundation. I love this actually, it's really nice. It's quite a light but glowy foundation. A couple of pumps on my hand. And then I'm going to use my new favourite brush, this is from Primark. And blend all of that in. I'm not going to wear too much because it's the weekend. I don't want to be too made up this weekend. So from so for my breakfast, I started having porridge oats with fresh fruit, blueberries and raspberries, and then um, a spoon or a couple of spoons full of yogurt. Then for my lunches, I've been having at work. I I used to have like um, I had the same thing every day actually. I used to have a chicken sandwich with lettuce, packet of crisps, and then some chocolate. So now I've started having these pouches from, they're only a pound, either from Tesco or Asda. And they're, I love them, they're like uh, pui or green lentils in a tomato-y and herby sauce. Absolutely lovely. And they're not that many calories either. Um, and I have that with a massive load of salad and then with dressing. And then in the evening, I am a bit of a convenience person. And because I like to control my cal um, calories, I'm conscious of what calories I have. I have like a, a ready meal. So that might be a spe spaghetti bolognese, a paella, um, a mushroom spaghetti, chili con carne, that sort of thing. So I have actually cut out eating, got some spot there. So that is the tea tree witch hazel. In fact, this is for spots, but it's a nice match to my skin colour at the minute. So yeah, I've been having that every day. So they also, I also got a message to say my iron levels were low as well, which quite surprised me. Cause I, like I say, I, I do try to eat quite healthily, but, um, and I don't bleed overly heavy when I have a period. So I was surprised about that. So each lunchtime and dinner, been having loads of spinach. So for six months, my diet has been, I, I am still eating chocolate and I do still drink wine every night. So my diet has been overhauled a little bit. I've tried to eat at regular times. So I did that for about six months and then they said to go back to have another blood test. Just need to blend that in. So that's what I did and uh, phoned up for the results. And they actually said my... Uh, diabetes level or my glucose sugar level insulin whatever it is was very good so I'd gone from being borderline diet pre borderline pre-diabetic to having very good levels so um, yeah I was really pleased with that and they also didn't get back to me about the iron so I'm presuming my iron levels are okay as well so um, yeah so I'm really really pleased so with my diet I've, I've brought, I've, I've turned it round and it is the, it's actually very good. 
Right, so we are now blended in with that. I'd normally put some eyebrow products on now, but I dyed my brows yesterday. Oh my goodness, they look like caterpillars. Alan and I just couldn't stop laughing. They look ridiculous. It dyed all my skin. I left it on too long. I went in the shower when I did it. Not in the shower. I started cleaning the shower. I forgot I got it on. Anyway, I've managed to scrub most of it off. But normally, as you know, I use brow sketch. So um, it's, I've, I've actually dyed it pretty well this time. So I'm just going to put a little bit in just to fill the gaps. And then I'll just blend that in. So menopausal-wise, my sleeping has just been affected. I've, I've been waking up quite a lot during the night, mainly because of having hot sweats. It's been driving me mad. Poor old Alan. We've actually been sleeping in separate beds because I've been waking up a lot and I have to keep whipping the cover off me. I've been sleeping on the top of the bed because it's so hot with just a little cover over the top of me. And it means when I wake up, I can just flick it off. Then I wake up feeling cold, I have to put it back on. It, uh, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's, it's annoying. And I don't like not having a sound, uh, a decent sleep because with me training so early in the morning, I always train early at about half six. So it's not like I can get another couple of hours in the morning either. Just clean my eyes up a bit with that. Then I'm going to go in with the Wicon pencil and this is dark grey. And I always just, in fact, it looks like I've got some already on there. Just draw, no, actually, let's put a little shadow on. Just going to put the tiniest bit on, actually, just to brighten up my eyes. What should we go for? Whoa. So this is a Primark palette. I always turn to this one. I love it. I'm just going to go for this colour here, Moulin Rouge, and a bit of honey pot, I think. Um, I'll just coat the... So I just put a base on of the honey pot, just a little bit with this. What's this? This is a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. Well, I'm using it all over my lid. Just a tiny bit. And I've also had quite a few mood swings. Poor old Alan. He um he actually asked. I had to mention it the other day because I just got so snappy and well, we call it snappish. He said you're being a bit snappish. And he said your moods, he said you're just not right, what's wrong sort of thing. And I had to think about it and I said, I bet it's the menopause. And as soon as I said that, he was he was absolutely fine with it. He's very supportive, Alan is anyway. And um, yeah, I think once I explained the reason why I think I was being like that, I think he felt a lot better about it because I, I don't know if he thought I was just having a go at him. And then on the top, with the same brush, I'm going to put the Moulin Rouge. Just in the centre of my eye, just to make my eyes look a bit browner. Uh, bluer. Oh, hang on, no. I'm going, to, I'm going to put a bit of that one on Starshine. Just going to sweep that over the top. Don't even know what I'm doing here. So that just blends that all in nicely. There we go, just a light little bit. And then something else that I've been struggling with, which I don't normally, is anxiety. My anxiety at work has been horrendous. I've been getting this awful racing feeling in my tummy, feeling, struggling with my breathing, feeling a bit tight chested. It's awful. And I've tried to sort of help it by, you know, like breathing techniques, just slowing down my breathing, breathing out and then taking deep breaths in. But God, it's been a nightmare. So much so, I, I, if I if it carries on, I might go to the doctor and see if there's something that I can have to help me because it's an awful feeling. Sorry, I'm just cleaning that brush. If any of you have got any tips for anxiety, how you get over it, what what you take, even if it's medication from the doctor, can you drop me a comment down below because um, I need something to help me with that, I think. Right, I'm just going to do my line just to the side of the screen. half a line and a little bit underneath. So at the moment, I love this mascara. It is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Really like it. So I always start with my lower lash line. Right, so that's my eyes done. 
So next up, I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on to set my face a smidge. I'm just going to use the same brush and I've got this, I love this, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I am going to do an Essence Full Face at some point makeup. Just got to get a few other bits. I know a few of you asked me to do that. So I just got to find, um, what, what do I need from that? I think I might need a brow product or something. But yeah, that will be here at some point. And then my new favourite bronzer. This is a different recommendation for people. So it's the W7 Bronze Chick. I don't know what colour I've got it in. I don't know if it comes in different colours. But I got mine off eBay. But you can get this in um, B&M. But my B&M didn't stock it. So it's a bronzer. It's like a cream bronzer that goes cream to powder almost. And it's got a teeny bit of shimmer in. So I use a big... What's this one? This is another Real Techniques... And this is the Expert Face Brush. So I put a bit of that on and then just blend that to brighten up my face again. Because I think that um, foundation is a smidge too light for me at the minute. Just blend that in. And then we'll just go for a little bit of, oh it's another W7, Candy Blush. Pop a bit of that, I'm using this every day and we're getting through it now. Pop a bit of that on the cheeks and then I'm just blending a little bit up into the temple. Just a tiny bit. And then just a tiniest bit of highlighter. So this is a Primark One PS highlighter. Got a fan brush, pop a bit of this on the tops of my cheeks. So that's the makeup done. Right, let's just sort out the fringe. The only thing with doing this, it sort of separates a bit, so you have to be careful. Right, let's put a bit of spray on that and then I'll brush it out again in a minute. And then a little bit of lippy. So we've got the MUA. I love this. I got this from um, Poundland for a quid in coral reef and it's a cross between a lip balm and a lipstick so it's absolutely perfect for me because i like a tint of color but i also like the feeling of a gloss or lip balm so that's it we're done hope you've enjoyed that one if you have please do give me a big thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber hit that little button below it's absolutely free to do and until the next time thank you for watching see you soon